Good morning Year 10. Um, I hope you're all really well. I hope you're all looking after each other and also working really hard. Um, this week's assembly is all about the act of kindness. Now I know that this is something that you do really well and you also know that this is something that I'm really passionate about. Um, in school I know that you do a fantastic job of looking after each other. However, I'd like you to think a little bit about the things that you can do maybe in your family home or within the community that somebody else might benefit from. Um, staff have been very busy and they have created an Acts of Kindness calendar which I'd, all, I'd like you all to take a look at. Um, I'm going to hand over because there's lots of staff who want to give you some messages. Um, I am at the moment really grateful as I think the weather has been extremely kind to us all. What can you do to be kind? Hi Year 10, it's so lovely to be able to check in with you today. I hope that you're all safe and well at home and that you're managing to fill your days and get some of your distance learning complete. Most importantly, I hope that you're all making time for yourselves, that you're getting outside, getting some fresh air, maybe trying to do some exercise or just doing something that you enjoy. If you do nothing else today, I really want you to try and check in with someone. Call a friend, text somebody, see what they've been up to, how they're getting on, how they're coping with everything that's going on at the moment. It's really important that we all stick together and that we all look after each other. I'm missing you more than you could imagine and I'm really looking forward to that time in the hopefully not too distant future when we're all going to be back together in school. See you soon. Bye. Hi Year 10, just a quick message from me to say that I'm really missing you, I hope that you're all okay, I hope that you're looking after yourselves and your families, um, I hope you've managed to get access to all the work that teachers have been setting you the past few weeks, um, but most importantly I hope that you are looking after yourselves and each other, so I never thought I'd say this, but get on your phone, get on Zoom, get on Houseplay, get on Snapchat, check in on people, look after each other, um, and I can't wait for a time when we're all together again. All right, Year 10, hope you guys are doing all right during this unusual time that we're having during this lockdown. Um, obviously, we're all in the same boat, but I uh, just thought it might be nice for uh, you to have a little bit of, uh, well, one-sided interaction from my behalf, I suppose. But I just wanted to say, uh, keep up the good work, whatever work you're doing at home. Uh, don't try and do too much all at once. Try and get yourself organised. What really helps me, in fact, I'm going to show you, take you on a little tour of the old house, but, well, from the kitchen to the lounge. But what actually helps me, um, I've just sort of got a little notepad here. Yep, it's got cats on it, that's right. It was a gift. Um, and uh, I just write on every day, what I'm gonna do for that day. So I've sort of, obviously not every single thing I'm gonna do in that day. There's a bit of breathing room, but it really helps me to get organized. So uh, I'm just sort of writing lists. So I've got like uh, tomorrow, for example, I'm gonna do uh, my exercise for the day. I'm gonna go out for a jog in the morning. Then I've got some marking that I'm gonna do with Miss Cooper and Miss Philo. Uh, and then I'm going to, hopefully, providing the weather's all right, uh, I'm going to be feeding the lawn and my plants uh, and give my plants a bit of a trim. So that's that's my tomorrow. Uh, and then anything else I can do in that day is a bonus. But I'm just sort of setting myself goals. And I've got these through throughout uh, the next couple of weeks, really. Basically, up until I ran out of paper. And then I'll move on to a new pad. But yeah, that kind of keeps me organised and motivated and, and uh, sane during this unusual time that we're having. Uh, that's not to say, I mean, I don't do that for every single day. I have that set up for my Monday to Friday. And obviously I'm working from home uh, on those days. And then I give myself the weekend off. Uh, and that's off from doing exercise as well. Uh, so I've got like a little exercise re uh, routine um, for Monday to Friday as well. Uh, all right, cool. Stay cool, guys. Uh, hope you guys are all safe and well, and see you soon. Hi, 10 JJ. Just a quick one to say that I miss you all so much, and I can't wait to see your lovely faces sometime soon. In the meantime, I hope you're all managing to access all of the work that your wonderful teachers have set for you. But more importantly, I hope that you are doing things that make you happy as well. Take some time for yourselves. Remember to reach out to other people in our form too and make sure that they're doing okay. You could even recommend them a book, recommend them a TV show. Try and get keep in touch with each other. Look after yourselves and I can't wait to see you all. Hi everyone, um, missing all of you. Um, those of you that found it quite hard during lockdown like I have, 
it's difficult not being able to visit your family that are maybe far away so um, this is my way of dealing with it I go for a run every morning or a walk um, this is the best place to be this is Alex Park and this is the avenue in Alex Park it's the most amazing place to be so if you haven't checked it out and it's near enough for you to get to um, come here Hi Year 10, Miss Wilson here, hoping that you are all keeping really safe and really healthy and to let you know that I miss you, miss you loads um, and I can't wait for us all to be back in school again and I know I'm sure that loads of you feel the same. Hi 10RB, I just hope you're all keeping well. Um, it was really strange being in school on Friday um, but it was so quiet. So just wanted to let you know that I'm thinking about you all and um, hope you managed to enjoy the sunshine this weekend, that you're doing a little bit of work but you're relaxing and uh, getting outside and getting some fresh air and look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care, bye. Hi guys, it's Mrs Wilson. I hope you're all okay. Um, just wanted to check in. Uh, I know you've all work, been working really hard, so have all your teaching staff, but it's really important that you get to do some things that you really enjoy as well. So it's really important that I get out in the garden, that we get out and play, um, that we play with the dog and we just get some fresh air away from the computer screens and away from inside. So make sure that you're having fun as well. Yeah. Alright, take care guys. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Oh goodness me, I miss you lot. I hope you're okay. Stay safe and keep practicing that English. Hi everyone, I just wanted to wish anybody who's observing it a happy Ramadan. I hope it's a blessed month for you all. All your prayers get answered and we're back to school real soon. Uh, just as a little tip, as tempting as it might be, please don't sleep your way through the fast. Use the different prayer times as a way of structuring your day. So in between certain prayers, designate that time for schoolwork, for family time, for hobbies, etc. But don't sleep it away. Stay hydrated when you can drink. Other than that, I hope it's a blessed month for you all. Evening gang, Mr. Harris here, nice to see you all. Hope everything's going okay. I say evening because it's night time and I'm just about to go out for my evening run. Uh, I find if I get my work done in the morning and then I do my work with my boys and I get my exercise done in the evening, keeps me sharp, keeps me happy and keeps me ticking over. I also just wanted to say to you all that uh, we've not been off officially um, for as long as you'll actually be feeling like we have. I think it's about 10 school days now that you will have missed because we've had Easter in the middle and we had two weeks off there. You won't have been in school for about 10 days now. So please don't think that you should have done tons and tons of work. Uh, and don't start getting stressed out if you think to yourself you've not done enough. Set yourself some targets, set yourself some really basic ones at first, like if you've not logged into Teams yet, or if you've not logged into Doddle, or if you've not tried GCSE Pod, log yourself into one or two of them. Just get yourself in there, navigate them, get used to the systems and get used to looking at what you're looking at. And then just give some of the things a go. If you're working on paper, work on paper and just stay cool and stay calm about it all. Get your exercise in, get some fresh air, be kind to each other, phone people up, have Zoom chats, eat nice food, do whatever you can do to get yourself through. Because we'll all be back together soon and, um, and we'll have fun stories and, and funny things to tell people about the times we're on lockdown. You take care of yourselves. Nice to speak to you all. See you soon.